So I'm going to have everybody. I'm David Peterman. Steve Martin. And welcome back for a Have a Moments with You. So Steve, what David. are, we, what are we, we always do this. What are we talking about I know, about you today? always ask me what we're well, talking yeah, I know. about. I, yeah, but you, you know, thing you you, me you're the keeper man. of the topics. <laughs> <laughs> flow of the Holy Spirit. The flow of the Holy Spirit. Or like I like to say, flexibility. The flexibility, yes. So Being able. So what happens, uh, you know, we work a lot together with concrete. <laughs> and what happens with when concrete dries? Uh, you can't work with it. It, it. it becomes well. You just can't work with right. it. Right. It's hard. It won't. It won't flow. Will it? It, it won't you flow can't in the put cracks. Put it where you want it. it uh, and, and and so when we were when we were working with that, there's times that it would get to the point where it'd be too hard to do anything with. Yes, right. The water had to be the right. The right consistency mm -hmm. it can't be. It get, can't be too runny. It'll just run out of the joint. Correct. But it can't be too hard where you just, you know, you it gets so hard you can't drive it into the joint with, your, with the mallet almost. You have to throw it away. When we have to throw it away. And so uh, our lives are a little bit like that in the Holy Spirit. We have to, we have to understand that there is a flow mm -hmm. to the Holy Spirit. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we've, it's always talked about the Holy Spirit as kind of being water or even oil. Mm -hmm. And that, those are both liquids. Uh, I don't know, have you ever spilled a quart of motor oil from your car on, on the concrete? Yeah, it makes a mess. It, it, you can't it, get it out, you can't clean it. It's them. amazing how far it's that quart of oil will go. It's there forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the stain is bad, but, but the oil, it's, I mean, it spreads yeah, and, and yeah. it goes everywhere. And so there's, the, and, and when the Holy Spirit, and you're functioning in the Holy Spirit, you have to be able to to be like liquid you have to be able to flow in what he's doing mm -hmm. and uh we are in a season where we're seeing outpouring of the holy spirit uh in our area uh also in other places in our nation there's revivals breaking out um i i believe that these are just precursors mm -hmm. i don't i don't think that we've hit the full power of what the lord's got for us and truthfully people have been praying for revival for for a long time Good. And I don't think a lot of them really know what they were praying for, <laughs> because they'll come differently. I think it's going to be different than what everybody's think. ever seen in the past. But as far as this flexibility and flowing with the Holy Spirit, uh, I've asked several people, and they've told me how they maintain where they're at. How do you keep going? How do you uh, continue to hear the Lord and walk in His ways? And and the Lord has told them, and they affirm that it's them being flexible, yeah. them being willing to hear, them being willing to lay it down. They built a church, they built a home, they built uh, businesses, yeah. and they are always laying it out before the Lord and saying, "Here, it's it's yours. You gave it to me. I'm willing to give it up. Uh, I just want to be where you want me to be and go where you want me to go." Right. And that's their heart. Their heart is not connected to this world right. or worldly things. They are always seeking the heavenly vision and walk, wanting to walk in it. Right, right. And I think that there there are these people um, that do very well with that. And, you know, there's this old kind of analogy of comparison of, of Christians to be in those that hike and then those that camp and then those that climb. Mm -hmm. And so as you as, as some people start out they're willing to flow and they but they get to a point where you're comfortable yeah. and sometimes being comfortable isn't the best thing you know um i can remember one time being in church and and i i walked in and i've been sitting in the same place for like several years you know yeah it's like well this is my spot and then there's somebody sitting in your spot and sometimes the flesh goes <laughs> Ooh, there's somebody sitting in don't your you know spot. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like, don't you know that this is my spot? But that's not that's not the way we should be. Really, it's like, well, praise the Lord, somebody somebody's new here, yeah. so they don't know yeah. they don't know that you sit there. But you 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 become rigid and you become yes. cemented in this this spot, and you you get offended, you know. And and people have left church because of these things. <laughs> and and it's 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 not what we're called to be. We're called to have a love for one another. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's that old song, they'll know we're Christians by our love. Mm -hmm. But truly, are we, are, we, are we flowing in the Holy Spirit enough 
to, to let him work on us when we need to be worked on. To move us around. And to move us around. And so that you, you know, uh, the only perfect church I ever found. The one that you weren't at? <laughs> no, no, no. It's the empty one. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, usually they're empty when I was vacuuming the floor or doing, you know, yeah, yeah. because you, you serve. You know, we, we have to we have to flow and, and serve. And there there's nothing more poignant to me than Yeshua when he was with his disciples mm-hmm. and he, he girded up himself and he started washing their feet. You know, that means that I am not above you. I'm one of you. That, that's an interesting point in the movie Jesus Revolution, which if you have not seen it, I hopefully that you will. Uh, one of the older guys in the congregation, which wasn't growing, which was dying, right, uh, didn't care for these hippies coming into their church barefoot and walking on their new shag carpet. <laughs> so what do you see in the next scene is Chuck Smith uh, out at the front door washing their feet before they came into the into the church building. Amen. Amen. And that, what, a, what a scene that is. Yes, yeah, that, that would be a scene. <laughs> that would be a scene. Uh, I know I've heard, I've heard of pastors that have dressed up as, as bums. Oh, and, and see I'll, how I'll, the to see how the congregation reacts. And, and these things, this is all this problem. This is this problem of becoming, becoming, you know, coming into a place and becoming stagnant yeah. to what the Holy Spirit's doing. You, you can have a quick tendency to lose a love for those who are unlovely. And truthfully, every every ministry that's of the Lord should be loving the last, the lost, and the least. Yeah. You know, because that first of all say that again. The last, the lost, and the, the least. least. Okay. So they're the least of people. They don't they mm-hmm. don't have the things. They're meek, their spirits are they're they're searching and they're longing for somebody. Uh to you know, for a touch from the Lord. That's you yeah. know, they're longing for that. Uh, you know they're lost. They don't know which direction to go. They're 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 not headed towards heaven, and and they're maybe they're hellbound. You know, mm-hmm. and then and then uh, um, you know we we just are to have a love for these people. And I think this this movie that you're talking about, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, but it's <laughs> on, it's uh, it's something I probably need to go see. And yes. and and uh, really, we depend on the move of these the move of the spirit. Mm-hmm. And we have to be we have to be flexible and willing to do something that maybe you wouldn't normally do. That's right. You know, um, maybe maybe the Lord's you're walking down the street and somebody comes up and says, "Hey, you know, you got five bucks." Well, you know, they may not look like it; or they need it, or they may look like they're going to go drink it up. But truthfully, that could be an angel saying to you, "You know, are you going to give to the Lord?" Mm-hmm. You know, and you have to, you have to, you have to be as generous as you can be. You have to be wise, but you have to be generous and flowing. And and I think the the Lord, when we when we go like to Israel, He sends people in our path yeah. that our our path is is guided by Him, and we have to just realize to flow and do whatever it takes. You know, some days. You may be the guy sharing the message. Mm-hmm. Some days you might be the guy sweeping the floor. Another day you might be the guy or lady cleaning the toilet. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean you're any less important than anybody else. Right. What it means is that you've got a heart to serve the Lord and to, to flow in what he has for you. And then it comes a time when he'll elevate you. And it may not be like you think. Mm. Right? Yeah. Has that, has that happened to you where it's been totally not like what you it thought has. it would be? There's been many... Many times where I wanted to be in a, a meeting or in a position where others had been and I wasn't. Uh, we go, Lord, why not? I'm old enough. I'm mature enough. I am uh, there. And yet, it didn't happen. Right. But at times where I was invited and, oh, well, this is great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's his timing and he, he knows when, when we're ready. And, and so at all times, we just, Lord, in your timing and your place of a promotion and your your way to to lead me in a, another way right be willing and sometimes it takes years it does it sometimes it can be a long time mm-hmm. but i don't believe that's a, that we're in this season i believe we're in a season where it's quick 
-hmm. And the Lord's going to use people, and we're going to see things that we've never seen before. And for some of us, <laughs> there's not much more time. No, no. Well, you know, everybody, everybody's all afraid of the last days. <laughs> the truth is, you don't know when the last day is, yeah. you know? Your Most of us, <laughs> yeah, it could be. I, you walk out the door, eh, eh, bus, yeah, you know? Yeah. And uh, I've been hit by a car, so I know that that does happen. Yeah. And, and so you, you, you have to value the days. You have to value your time. Mm -hmm. But... You know, when the Lord gives you the amount of days and he gives you the opportunity to be flexible and to minister and to care for those around you. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes, sometimes your ministry is at home, a husband or a wife. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's ministering to your brother or your sister, uh, you know, siblings mm -hmm. who, who, need, who need a word or just need you to listen. Or sometimes it's just... Uh, uh, taking a, a sandwich to somebody that you see working and they, maybe they need, you know, Lord's put on your heart that yeah. they need a sandwich, you know, but it's that, it's that being a, able to flow. Uh, not all of us are called to be somebody special. I can remember one oh, time yeah. I, years ago, I, I came to North Carolina. So I started going over by the old, uh, uh, upper room and mm -hmm. I was making right. these videos, right. And I was putting the videos sending them back to the people in Michigan because they were on CDs at that time and none of this stuff was the way it is now, you know. And then uh, uh, the Lord says to me one day as I was was uh, coming back from doing that, he says, you know, he says, I didn't call you to be Jim Baker. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, okay, you know. But we're not, our callings aren't all the same. Yeah, you know, we're right. all different. And, and uh, uh I know I'm not no Jim Baker, and so, but, but with that. But you are David Peter. I am, and I am, and I am. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of the, what the Lord's done with my life because, yes. truthfully, without being able to flow and do the things that He's He's had me do over the years, you know, He told me one time. He says, "You go farther with me than you've ever been before," and He wasn't lying. Uh -huh. I mean, He He wasn't lying, and it, and I've been to different places way farther than I ever thought I was going to go. Absolutely. So, but, uh, it, is there anything else that's on your heart this morning, Steve? I think we covered it in I this think segment. We covered it in this segment. All <laughs> right. More. All right. Well, let's pray for the people. Father, we just thank you for those who are watching Lord, we just ask that you you would bless them, Lord, that you would pour out your Holy spirit on their lives Amen. in liberality, Lord, Lord, that they would be able to flow in what you have for them, Lord, that they would flow in that river of living water, that 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 oil of gladness and oil of joy and oil of of anointing would come on them from the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, Lord. Father, we ask that you'd bless them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet, Lord. Lord, we ask that they would do greater things, Lord, that they would do greater things, that they would see greater things Amen. in you than than we have, Lord. And and Jesus says that, Lord. We just ask your blessing on them. We bless them now in Yeshua's mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Shalom and Ahava. Thanks for watching.